When you combine a street and a road, you get something called a strode. A strode is a street road hybrid. It's the futon of transportation options. And unfortunately, it is all too often the default setting for transportation improvements across North America. A strode attempts to function like a road, moving cars quickly from one place to another. It will have wide, highway-scale driving lanes, turning lanes to improve traffic flow, and everything will be at a giant automobile scale. Of course, cars don't move fast through a strode environment. Not only are the speed limits set low, but the turning traffic, merging traffic, and traffic signals all ensure that this is not a high-speed environment. Of course, the strode also fails to function like a street, creating an environment for valuable use. While the strode may have good sidewalks, crosswalks, and even buildings that occasionally address the street in a friendly manner, there are huge gaps in the streetscape, places where pedestrians and bikers just simply won't go, missing teeth in the landscape. And everything is still way out of scale, making it very uncomfortable for anyone not in an automobile. And of course, nobody is going to cross seven lanes. And because of this, all the businesses act rationally and include parking lots in their design. Parking lots don't employ anyone, and parking lots don't pay a lot of taxes. And so this environment becomes very low yielding. Strodes have slow traffic, and so they fail as a road. They also have low financial productivity, so they fail as a street. Unfortunately, strodes also have very bad safety records. And on top of it all, they're incredibly expensive to build. There are alternatives to the strode, however. Properly designed streets and roads are incredibly productive. A street is a complex urban environment, a platform for creating and capturing value. Streets can accommodate automobiles, no problem there. But streets also need to accommodate people. People walking, people biking, people in wheelchairs, on rollerblades, or what have you. As a complex environment, it's all about the fine grain. It's all about creating as much value in a space as possible. Speeds are low, and accessibility is very, very high. The most productive streets are ones that have a very robust mixing of humanity all in one place. If we want to turn our strodes into streets, there's a few things we need to do. First, we need to slow traffic substantially. Fast-moving cars are not compatible with what's going on in a productive street. We need to prioritize pedestrians, bikers, transit, and other options as high or even higher sometimes than automobiles. We need to create a regulatory environment that allows for intense use of adjacent property. And we need to embrace the complexity of these very special places. Roads are equally important. Roads provide value by creating high-speed connections between places. To function properly, roads need to have limited accesses, high speeds, and highway geometries that are forgiving for automobiles. It is possible to accommodate pedestrians and bikers in a road environment, but only when they're separated from the traffic stream. In order to create the most value possible, the traffic stream needs to be able to move unhindered at high speeds. We can convert strows into roads simply by closing accesses and limiting new access onto the road. We need to segregate automobiles from other modes of traffic. The pedestrians and bikers are fine, but they can't be anywhere near the traffic stream. We can't allow the adjacent land use to degrade the public's transportation investment. We built the road to be high speed and high capacity. Lining the road with frontage roads, accesses, and development may provide a short-term boom to the local economy but degrades the value of the road substantially and is horrific for highway maintenance budgets. Moving from a strode to road, we need to simplify the roadway. A good functioning road serves as a high speed connection between two places. We need to do everything we can to build high performing roads. At the end of the day, this is all about making our transportation dollar go further. The strode environment provides a very poor return on investment. It has low productivity, a bad safety record, and is a terrible overall value. By converting our strodes into streets and roads, and ensuring that we build no more strode environments, not only can we make our dollars go much, much further, but we can build places that are safer, 
financially more productive, and far more valuable for the intended purpose. That's a Strong Towns approach.